Chapter 9, Bones of the Beast. Griffith, the two dragon masters, and the dragon followed the wizards into the fortress. Everyone stopped when they saw the stone statues. Mina of the Far North and Frost, her ice dragon. Catherine and his dragon sh shook up. Quilla blinked. Alfred did this? she asked. Drake nodded. The end point of the groove of wizards. See here and free them from the stone. Six wizards ran over to the statues. The rest of you will come with me, she instructed. Alfred is with the bones. Drake, where can we find them? Follow me, Rick replied, and he and Worm led the way. They marched over to the entry of the Garden of the Beasts. A, gar a bright red light shone from inside. Great shaded his eyes. Through the light, he saw a giant beast, beast made of bones. Some beast ha had a huge body and long, long neck. Others stood on two feet and had a huge head filled with sharp teeth. Others had spiky spines, were horn growing from their forehead. Another beast flew around the garden on large wings. Its sharp, skinny beak looked like a bird's neck. Beak. Alfred floated above the sand. She wore a belt around her waist. Tiny glow Wing bottles dangle from loops of the belt. Each one held a different color liquid, a dragon power she had stolen. If she drank one, she could use that dragon's attack as her own. A evil withdrawal crackled loudly. Come, my beautiful bony beasts. Together we will conquer the world. A swirling red portal opened up behind her. Drake a guard is forward. I have to use the Kinebrex box. Griffith stopped them. Wait, Drake. We need a plan to keep you safe. Vera can help, Quilla piped up. She can wipe out a wind that will create a sandstorm around Ostrid. But Drake shook his head. Ostrid steals dragon powers. It's too dangerous. She won't let us come in. She won't see us coming, Quilla promised. She climbed on Vera's back. Her dragonstone glowed. Vera created a sandstorm around the wizard. Just as Ostrid stepped closer to the portal, Vera lifted up the ground and flew into the Garden of the Beasts. Dragon's body glowed with soft purple magic, and the sand around Ostrid wiped up a spinning turn. Tornado of sand surrounded the wizard. Great, now, Griffith 